Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're taking a look at another Lego Polybag. And this one is Polybag 30350. And this is the City Volcano Jackhammer. Now, if you enjoy this kind of video, please think about subscribing because I have a number of other videos just like this one already up. And also, my current plan is to continue doing these kinds of videos one a day for the foreseeable future. So if you like this kind of thing, there's plenty more on the way. Also, if you want to check in the description, there is a link to where you can find this particular site on Amazon and on BrickLink. And there's also a link to the brick set description for this particular set if you just want information about the set itself. And if you've never used BrickSet, what it is, is it's a site that has a pretty thorough guide to all the various Lego sets. And it'll give you like pieces, it'll tell you the pieces that there are available and all that other stuff. And you can also, if you need to, sort of if you need to, you can also... Am I going to have to look at the instructions to figure out how to do this one? Hmm. That's an interesting question. Alright, so... I guess I am. Anyway. Let's see how we put the dude together. This is actually a first for me. I feel like the guy is... Oh wow, we don't even get any instructions on how to put the dude together. Alright. So we just have a picture of him. Okay. So we know that this goes toward the back and this goes toward the front. And it's looking like this sets like right there. Okay. That looks right. So this sets in there. And then this goes over here, like so, and then we have our dude whose head almost rolled away, and we have just have one option for the faces. I guess he goes on like so. Oops. This goes on like that. And then he goes on, goes on like this, and this clips down like that. So that's this right there. And then we have a visor, which is going to clip on like so. And then he gets his hard hat. Hmm. Alright, that's kind of interesting actually. It's sort of, huh, all right, that's kind of cool. So it sort of builds toward the, the piece. The only thing I'm not super crazy about, I guess, can y'all see it right there? It's like part of his, back of his head sticking out. But all in all, it's not too bad. Assuming I didn't mess something up somewhere. Looks like I didn't. Looks right, all right. Doesn't it? Alright, so that's the dude. And so now we just put together the contraption. The Volcano Jackhammer. And so for our Volcano Jackhammer, we got a couple of these. And then, like so. I guess this is going to be like... Alright. That's interesting. So, what we've got to do is we have these two things go on top, like so, and then this goes on top. So, it looks like that. And that gets us to there. 
And then we have the little kind of bumper dozer looking thing. Right there. Like that. And then get this. And we're gonna have a little turntable and the other like this. And then we just pop on the actual turntable part of the turntable. So that rotates. So I guess the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build a little platform that's gonna handle the, the volcano the volcano jackhammer arm. For this, got this, and one of the one by two cheese slopes, facing that, like so, and then two levers. Now I gotta tell you, I've never been a fan of these levers, like not even in the old days when I was a little kid, and it was like, you know, the space levers. You know, this, well, where the space sets made a great deal of use out of these levers. I never did like them. I, just, I still don't really care for them. I kind of think they're one of the they're one of the weakest pieces Lego has. They're just not. I don't know. I just don't feel like they stand up to the rest of the Lego in general, like the rest of the Lego world. Anyway, I don't know. What do y'all think? How? What are your feelings on the levers? I'm generally negative on the levers, but y'all may disagree with that. Alright, so that gets us to there, and then we gotta pop a pin in right there, like so. And then we gotta build part of the arm. All right. So in order to build this arm, we're gonna need one of these and one of these, like so. And then cover for that part. And then the other end. And I should probably make them so they're all facing the same way, like so. All right. So this one clips in right there. So that's that arm, that part of the arm. And now we got to make the next part of the arm, which I got this, and then the pin goes in there. So, oh, and I have one of these little, like half pin stud things. I'm sure there's a name for it, but it currently escapes me. And then I have like a, a little spear harpoon tip. That's going to be our um, point for our jackhammer. And so this connects on the inside so it'll connect right here like so like that and then this I'm assuming goes on here kind of nicely centered which is what we're after uh, like that so you have the moving arm here and then pop on the wheels. I like these wheels, by the way. Kind of decent sized wheels. Like so. And then, so we got this for our volcano jackhammer. And dude's gonna be running it. And it rotates around. So you have like the rotation here, 
and you have the up and down of the jackhammer. Now last but not least, what we gotta do is we gotta put together the stuff that's going to get jackhammered. So it's got some stuff that's supposed to be lava, which is gonna be some of these one by one translucent, transparent, orange, um, actually that's kind of interesting. It says, it says to put it like this. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. It says to put it in there like that, where it's kind of at an angle to the other one, but it looks like it's a straight lava flow if you put it in like that. And I'll stick to the instructions for this one. So we'll put it in like that. And then you put the little crystal jewel on the top. And so what you have is you have your, your jackhammer and your thing that is getting jackhammered. Like so. Now they gave us a bunch of extra pieces for this one. I guess probably this set uses a lot of pieces that are susceptible to either loss or breakage. You can see we got a bunch. It's kind of a cool set though. Kind of a neat little thing. Hmm. Anyway, let me know what you think. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I hope you all have an excellent day.